Let's draw the Lewis structure for CuF2 or copper 2 fluoride. Now here we have the staircase of semi-metals on the periodic table. Anything to the left of it, like copper, is a metal. Anything to the right of it, like fluorine, is a non-metal. That's significant because a metal and a non-metal will always bond together to make an ionic bond. And that happens via a transfer of electrons from one to the other. Now, fluorine, the non-metal, brings seven valence electrons with it in its outer shell. So I'm going to draw the F with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Copper is trickier. Here in the transition metal block, or this block that I'm outlining right now, most of these atoms can have more than one possible charge. Your job is to figure out what charge your atom actually has and give it that many valence electrons. Copper 2 has a charge of 2. Surprise, surprise. So it's going to bring two valence electrons with it. If you're given the formula, it's where that 2 came from. That 2 came from the charge that had been on copper, and the 1 that's not written on copper had been the charge that was on fluorine. Anyways, either way, copper has a charge of positive 2, so I want you to draw yourself a copper with 1, 2 valence electrons. Now, the other thing you need to know is that nonmetals want a full outer shell of 8 electrons. That's called the octet rule. And this fluorine already has seven. So it only needs one extra electron to complete its octet. Copper, the metal, is definitely willing to give up one of its electrons for the cause. Now this fluorine has eight electrons around it. But copper still has an extra valence electron. Where can it go? The answer is bring in another fluorine atom with its seven electrons, and then that one can go to it to complete its octet as well. So in the end, you have a copper atom that gave away both of its electrons. That makes it an ion. Don't draw any electrons around it because it gave its two valence electrons away, but do give it a plus two charge because it gave away two minus charged electrons. Losing minuses give it the plus charge. I realize that's a little weird. It's the way it is. Fluorines, on the other hand, brought seven electrons, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and gained one extra each. So now it has the full eight. That's the octet, the minus one charge for the extra minus charged electron. You're going to have to draw that fluorine twice because you needed two fluorines to absorb the electrons from the copper. They both need the complete octet. And here's your completed Lewis structure for copper two fluoride. You're welcome and best of luck.